Okay, let's see when was the last time I did an analysis that Okay. <laughs> yo, what is up you bunch of jelly donut buddies? Nor has once returned with another VTuber to analyze. Oh, so how was my past week? It was a roller coaster! But that is for another video. Maybe. Now, the VTuber where we have for now is the very affectionate buddy priestess, Nicha. Now, uh, if you know me, then you probably have a medium chance of seeing me on her streams in Minecraft. Just being chaotic and all. So go check out whenever she streams. Or join her Discord channel. I lurk around there half the time. Uh, links in the description. Now, I am going to go at her lore. Me was once a part-time worker at the age of 19. She was a very diligent and hardworking girl throughout the day. Until one fateful day, the shop she was working in was being robbed at the time. Me, who has worked hard throughout her time and not wanting all go to waste, tried to stop them. But it sadly led to her demise. She soon woke up to another world as a young body girl, weak and frail. In that world, adventuring existed. She tried it herself, but ended up losing more things instead. She traveled town to town until she stumbled upon a rundown shrine, abandoned almost. It belonged to a god of individuality. The god offered her to work for him. He accepted the offer, as it is the safest option. Now, she is the Bunny Girl Priestess. Alright, now, I could have worked on the lore summary a bit better, but this is what you have to deal with, okay? So, you're welcome. Going back to her lore, this god of individuality offered me a safe place to stay in exchange for her... freedom? I don't know the specific term, but basically she is fully devoted to the god and cannot leave the shrine at all. I don't know how to uh, verbalize. No, verbalize not the right word. Uh, whatever. The, the things that I said. This god of individu individuality. <laughs> this god of individuality is pretty tricky, though. I am not familiar with any gods out there, so. The name of the god of individuality I know is Tritheria from the Greyhead, uh, from Greyhead in Dungeons and Dragons. Did it be he likes D and D, or am I just over exaggerating? Now correct me if I'm wrong, but the name of the shrine she resides in is the Kaiteki Shrine, which is uh, also the name of her Discord channel. Huh. Is that a coincidence? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, Kaiteke means comfort in Japanese, so the comfy shrine. Yeah. Now, I wasn't able to contact me much about her other information, but I managed to get a hold of some quote unquote secret texts, which also means I may have to switch up the format for a while. So uh, bear with it for a moment. She likes the colors purple, white, and pink. Of course, that's a. Uh, that's. That's these aesthetics. She she likes she likes those colors. Very girly, of course. She still has her memories from her past life when she got Isekai, but due to her short-term memory loss, she only remember bits and pieces of what was important. Yes. Uh, also, this uh, this is actually pretty convenient considering the fact that uh, well, sometimes you just forget your own life. So, yeah. Uh, moving on to the next one. When she got Izekai, she never mentioned her age due to her lack of knowledge on time and how long it has been. So, when asked the question, she changed the topic. Of course, uh, in that world, uh, you don't have a watch, do you? You don't have a wristwatch. Neither do you have any clocks out there. Well, I think there are clocks, just like clock towers, but hey, you don't stay in towns that often. Towns are scary. She has tendencies to talk in third person. Uh, when typing, she types me. Who are you? You. 
No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. And I, I, instead of me and I. You just said what? I did not say what. I said you. That's what I'm asking you. And E and I. Don't ask me, okay? I'm not in charge of the character. I'm just a person who uh, analyzed them, all right? You, me, everybody's ass around here. Now we're finished with that. We are now going over her character design. She has two character designs. One is the Shrine Maiden, and one is a Comfy. For her Shrine Maiden design, she... Uh, well, she is a Shrine Maiden. Uh, well, the way I said it, the way I said it is pretty redundant, but yes. She looks like a... Well, she is a... God, diddly damn it! She is a Shrine Maiden with the colors of white, Pink and violet. Uh, purple. Violet or purple? I can't tell the difference. Also, she has these. Uh, uh, I don't know what these are. What are what are what is? Ah, these are flower ribbons. Yes, she has flower. She wears flower ribbons as well. Yeah, flower ribbon. Her hair is white, and she has a, a bunny pin on top of her head. Or is it a bunny pin, I believe? I don't know about that. Her eyes are purple with uh, white uh, heart pupils in there. Huh. Now, where have I seen this design before? Overall, her this uh, her clothes as a shy maiden is pretty nice, but the uh, the skirt though is a uh, the skirt's pretty short. I can still see you have some lewd senses there, buddy. That is pretty lewd if you ask me. Now, for me's comfy look, um, I don't have the full image of it, but from what I can see is that she's wearing a uh, mocha colored blazer with a pink interior with black ribbon. And a few decals on her uh, of her clothes. She has a pink ribbon on the top of her head, and a bunny pin on the right side of her head, and a and a pink ribbon pin. I don't know if that's a pin, but looks like a pink pink pin to me on the left side. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And also, her ears are short. I'll get to that later. Alright, so now we are at the portion of my hit list, uh, which is other information. At some point uh, during uh, her first moments of her screaming, Mi somehow managed to dox herself in earlier times, and some of her viewers know her. So you, uh, there are some viewers, uh, there are some people in the Discord where uh, they seem pretty close. It's because they know what me looks like. Yes, uh, somehow uh, little me here, uh, she managed to dox herself. Uh, that was the first mistake, but me, but her viewers are kind enough to never let anyone know who she looks like. Yeah. Now the reason why me has short ears is because uh, she is inspired by pygmy rabbits, and. Well, pygmy rabbits have short ears, but however, the way I see it, me is a Netherland dwarf rabbit, which looks like this. It's pretty cute, see? The ears are very, very, very short. Look at that. You just wanna pet it, do you? You just wanna hold it in your hand and keep on petting on it. That's what you like to do, right? Right? Me doesn't have any of these uh, urges, if you know what I mean. Yeah, of course, you know rabbits, they multiply all the time, they multiply all the daily damn time, of course they're gonna have urges. But me, no, uh, she doesn't have those urges because, uh, well, the god of individuality blessed her to ignore such of these urges. I don't know if this, if I should call this a blessing or it's a curse, because I'm not entirely sure this is how rabbits are supposed to work, okay? Her inspiration for becoming a VTuber is Elite Miko and Shirakami Fubuki. Ah yes, Elite Miko. Also known as the Fuck you. What? Girl. 
I didn't say it, okay? It was her, okay? But hey, that, you gotta admit, that was a pretty funny clip. And an iconic one. I got a hold of Mii's, uh, her previous lore, uh, before she, uh, before her big change at some point. I don't know if this is actually her big change, but I don't know. But this was her lore before. <clears throat> she streamed on Twitch as a PNG streamer at 2018 and 2019, being known as a bunny cosplay cafe owner. But due to short budgets, her cafe ended up in debt, which caused her to be in shock. While packing and cleaning up, she got into an accident that caused her to pass away. Really? So yeah, that was that was her previous lore until she changed it into uh, something a little bit more spicy. Now, me uh, hangs out a lot with Kindle. Now, if you don't know Kindle, uh, Kindle is a Netflix YouTuber. Uh, I don't know much about Kindle yet, but he is still on my hit list. Or should I say Virgil's? I don't know, okay? But hey. Also, the two of them are living together, which is, uh, which is, I don't know how to describe it, but, uh, half the time, if me is streaming, you will hear, uh, Kindle being a gremlin in the background. You can hear him yelling, you can hear him go nuts over bonkers, and, uh, that's pretty much it. You'll be noticing Kindle's noises, uh, in the background. But that's fine. Me is definitely okay with that. Or so I believe she's okay with that. The last one and almost the almost Me's iconic uh, uh, aspect of her. She sometimes oversleeps and occasionally forgets she has a scheduled stream. Me uh, sometimes when she schedules a uh, stream at around uh, let's say 2 p.m. She starts the stream around. 3 or 3.30 p.m. So yes, that's, uh, that's what it means, uh, that's what it means iconic issues. <laughs> uh, but don't worry, me uh, will just update uh, half the time whenever she's gonna cancel stream, but me really does oversleeps. She's a very tired uh, bunny priestess because she is very diligent, she really works hard, she tries to keep everyone happy. Of course. And now we get to the end of the video. Finally! I did something productive for once in my lifetime. <laughs> uh, so, I sincerely apologize for uh, the lack of content, but hey, I've been busy. I have a lot of work to do. I'm also a human, okay? I'm not like any of you people who has the time of their world, alright? So yeah, thanks for watching, uh, all of uh, me socials will be in the description, and I'll see you next time, hopefully. <laughs>